breaking news. Today, Blocks Boots released Update 20, which finally released the K- <sighs> How times have changed. Welcome everyone. Do any of you remember the Buddha fruit? Chances are, it's the only reason why you're where you're, why you're, where you're at. It's also one of the things keeping Blocks Fruits alive. Not really though. Without the Buddha fruit, grinding things like swords, fighting styles, or even guns. Wait, no, not guns. Not guns. Without Buddha fruit, chances are grinding mastery on things would be a lot more difficult. Things like CDK or God Human would be much more difficult to get. Yet without Buddha fruit, it might as well be impossible. So let's start where it all began. The Big Bang. Oh, wait, no, too far. <clears throat> Okay, where it all began, 564 BCE, nope, still too far. Ah, finally. January 16, 2009. The game Blocks Peace was released to the public, where the first fruits were Bomb, Spike, Chop, Smoke, Rubber, Flame, Ice, Dark, Light, Magma, Quake, and our favorite, Buddha. Now, Unfortunately, because of Light's speed when flying, Dark's ability to kill players, and Magma's at the time incredible damage output, Buddha wasn't the best fruit. Neither was it a good one. There was little n mobility, it only gave you a smaller range boost, and it just made you a larger target. Players didn't want to use a Buddha initially as it was the most expensive fruit, yet not the best. Luckily, players soon realized Buddha's ability to grind mastery and deal a lot of damage with swords or fighting cells. Back then, players who had Dark Blade had a massive advantage while using Buddha and Dark Blade together, as it dealt a lot of damage. The third seas where things changed massively, with stuff like new swords, fighting cells, and even new raids giving Buddha more use and also a massive buff at the same time. Buddha's awakened form allowed it to have 50% more damage resistance, which was massive for grinding, as players could grind mastery and levels at the same time, while also improving the defensive and offensive capabilities of the user. It was also during this time where many glitches with Buddha would appear, like speed glitches, which have been patched since, and the range glitch, which lets you have a large range without even being transformed. This made Blocks Roots overall more enjoyable as it was not that difficult to grind anymore. Now, what puts the fruit on top compared to other fruits? Even in the third sea, where fruits like Portal and Doe's Awakened Forms grew in popularity and became more useful, Buddha still remained on top. It was one of a kind. As other fruits would give you abilities which go from transformation to crazy damage to even walking on water, Buddha on the other hand, gives you incredible range which makes grinding NPC NPCs a lot easier compared to other fruits. This fruit shaped Blocks Fruits to where it is and there's no denying that Buddha fruit is one of the most versatile fruits. Which brings us to where we are now. Recently the Winter Update released the T-Rex and Update 22 released the powerful and fast Kitsune fruit. However, I doubt these fruits will be ever be able to surpass Buddha's fruit in terms of usefulness, which is why Buddha is the most powerful fruit. Thank you for listening to my TED talk.